So as you people may or may not know, I go to sixth form. Now, in sixth form, when I was a kid, sixth formers were scary. I mean, they were brutally scary. You wouldn't dare go near a sixth former because they would probably just push you over and bully you and terrorize the shit out of you. However, since I've joined sixth form, everything has changed. Instead of young years being scared of sixth form and not going near us, which is fantastic, that means we don't get little stupid kids trying to annoy us, trying to piss us off while we're trying to work. The school instead wants the sixth form people to be approachable by younger years. Essentially, what the school is trying to say is I should look like a predator. Because we have been forced to talk to the younger years, the younger years now think we're more innocent and more normal and more approachable, which means the younger years get cockier. They don't only get cockier, they get more annoying, because they think that we can't do anything, which we can't. They think that they can do whatever they want to us, because we're not going to retaliate. Back in my day, if we went near a sixth former, we were scared that we were going to get punched. They could be little shits, and we can't do anything. The other day we were in the sixth form room and this little kid kept tapping on the window just trying to get our attention and annoying us and then walking away thinking it's funny and then keep tapping and keep tapping. Then just randomly out of nowhere he gets a sandwich out of his bag, sticks it to the window for no reason. What the hell? They've become so cocky they've started giving it to us and trying to insult us. If I come back from KFC or Pizza Hut, which I sometimes do, I'll walk through the school going to the sixth form common room and the amount of little kids who go, Oi bruv, give us a piece, give us a slice, give us some chips, yeah bruv, bruv, give us some chips, come on, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to share my food with you, I don't even know who the hell you are. What I want to do is just collectively get all those year sevens who are annoying into one room and just say to them, Santa, Easter Bunny, Tooth Fairy, none of them are real, and watch them cry. That is what happens when you keep asking and trying to nick my food. It's my food, I am passionate about food, it's my food, and you are not going to take it. My food. Bad small children. I mean, there are some year sevens that are nice, that are weird and quirky and we don't mind, that are just giving us laughs because they're doing weird stuff. Back when I was a year 12 in the first year of sixth form, we were just sitting there around a table talking. Suddenly, this year 7 walked past us, stopped right next to us, went... Bleh, 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 bleh. And they continued walking. We had no idea what was running through this kid's mind. This kid was insane. And his, his hair was crazy. It looked like he'd run through a farm and he'd been attacked by chickens and geese. So the moral of today's story is, if I'm walking through the school with a pizza and you ask for a slice in your year 7, don't be surprised if I put you upside down in a bin. So until next time, stay cool. Or socially awkward. Whatever. Oh yeah, my friend Billy Manning wanted a shout out in today's video. So Billy, you're a prick. Bye.